Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today we're going to try and make a cornmeal pie. I have never done this before, but I'm not crazy about pie shells and pie crust, so we're going to make it without a pie crust. So I have my pan ready and it's oiled down. Um, we're going to be using Siples cornmeal. The recipe's on the back. I'm going to show you that recipe. It calls for four eggs, two cups of sugar, um, four tablespoons of cornmeal, a teaspoon of vanilla, and one stick of butter. Now this um, Siples cornmeal came from um, Siple watermeal, and it's in North Mississippi. Let's see if I can get it where you can see. In DeKalb, Mississippi. Eddie Siple. Amanda and Brad came and spent the day with us, and she is the one that sent Danny the Siple cornmeal and the Siple grits. It is done by a water mill, stone ground. See that? Isn't that awesome? It's been around since 1790s. So it's a water powered stone ground corn grinder. That's awesome. This is vanilla that I made here at Deep South, and these are our fresh eggs. So we're going to see if a cornmeal pie is all it should be, if we can even eat it. Sounds interesting. I'm going to let the butter just kind of melt on down. I'm going to turn the fire off and let it just sit here. I don't want it um, hot. I just need it melted. I have the vanilla, the sugar, and the cornmeal in my bowl. We're going to be adding the butter, mixing all that together. I've cracked the eggs in a separate container. I'm going to scramble these before adding to the other mixture. This is what the mixture looks like before I add the eggs. We have the scrambled eggs. And this is what it looks like mixed up kind of like a gritty cake mix. So we're gonna add it to our pie plate, put it in the oven that we've got preheating at 350, and we're gonna bake until it's set. This is what the pie, the cornmeal pie looks like coming out of the oven, and it says to cook it until it's set. Set means when you move it in the oven, just the least little bit, and it's not jiggling, it's firm. That's what set means. So I'll be trying this when it cools off, and we'll see what it tastes like. Cornmeal pie. Hmm. The cornmeal pie is out of the oven, guys. So we're going to taste it, and if, as you can see, I've not tasted already. It's all still whole, so I, you can't say I cheated. And uh, this has no crust, so I'm not sure how it's going to do as far as sticking to the side. It may, I know it's crusty. But Danny and I like, oh, it looks like a chest cake. It's kind of got that texture and stuff to it. And you see in there, kind of like a chest cake. Isn't that awesome? Now we're gonna find out is a cornmeal pie without the crust, because I don't like crust. Is it any good? It really is, I mean, Two cups of sugar, why wouldn't it be good, huh? It's really like a chest cake. If nobody didn't tell you, you wouldn't know it had cornmeal in it. You would think it was flour. It's actually very good. And in a time when there's no flour, if there's something happens that nobody has flour and you have some cornmeal and you have sugar and eggs and vanilla, you can make this. I mean, I'm telling you. And it's a way to have a sweet with cornmeal and no flour involved. There was no salt, no baking powder. 
Very simple recipe. Um, I think we're gonna like this one. Mm. Cornmeal pie, guys. I'm gonna get Danny to try this. This is actually, it's actually very, very good. Is the whole thing made out of cornmeal? It's the only, only stuff that's in it. Sugar, eggs, cornmeal, vanilla. How is the top so crunchy and the bottom crunchy and the middle's like a, it's like an egg pie or something, you know what I mean? The cornmeal went to the top and the bottom. Well, what stayed in the middle? The eggs. Oh, okay. So it's like, an, a little it bit like of, an egg pie then. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like an egg pie. I mean, Tastes just like it to me. You wouldn't really know the difference. I, did, I would not have known the difference. I literally would not have known the difference. I mean, I don't know how many eggs you put in it, but I know that... Four. Uh, well, just four? Just four. Wow. That is really... Like you said, I think you overdone it with the sugar, but... That's what the uh, recipe called for, so I was with, going with, by the recipe. With me, that's overdoing it with the sugar because I don't eat a lot of sugar. Uh, but it tasted but good? It tasted really <laughs> sweet. To me, it's like... Intense sweet, you know, like you said, would you put two cups in it? Two cups. I would have, I could have done with less than a one. But it the, probably would not have set. I might not have, but it would be worth a try, you know, I mean, just to see. Uh, that, that's, that's, if you're a sugarholic, yeah, you'd be hooked on this one because that is really good. My cornmeal pie, I think it's a winner. Um, you can see it stuck to the bottom, even though I put something in there to, um, I mean, I greased it all up good. It still stuck to the bottom. So I'm not sure if you had a um, crust in here, but my thought, if you ain't got no flour, there's a perfect way to make something sweet. Cornmeal pie. Who knew? Thanks, Amanda and uh, Siples Cornmeal. Check it out, guys. Thank you from Crazy Days.